So that's a great team fight. Wukongs into Supernova, into Sleep. Um, obviously, Sleep would be first. You put that next to an enemy tower, Polaris will not be able to fight in, in those so situations. Damage, try to get himself away. Yeah, a couple of last right clicks are found. That seemed to be picking up the first blood. So, uh, yeah, they were very committed to making sure that Zephyr and Natsumi were together on Natsumi. Arrow comes out, Akashi takes it. Yeah, it takes it straight to the face. Who's going to end up dropping first right now? Natsumi's getting afraid that they do manage to bring down the Naga Siren. At the very least, there is the trade, but regardless, just slightly favoring uh, Polaris in that respect. I mean, it, it's definitely going to be a useful tool to try Ooh, and counteract God. the, the uh, spam coming out from the Jingu stack. One so, more? Yeah, see. It takes a lot of beatings where it now does manage to get the dodge out there for one of the right clicks. It doesn't matter. Oh my lord, man. Boxes comes in for one more chain light into the face. Uh, top lane, there's some action happening. Maybe costing Natsumi his life. Yeah, it does get caught. Nice place from Polaris. Just... And lightning again. Dragon back X's over. Still no dive or cooldown. It's, it's the constant zaps, man. Doing so much work. Jing trying to juke out to the trees, but still the... Uh... Ooh. Ooh, the bounder strike actually misses. And he just can't survive, you know, you really need that life steal. We're trying to get the kill from Shing, you can, but he just can't do it. He's been here for a while. Alright, looks like they're going to go on towards CML, able to get the Shadow Realm off at the very least. TP response coming in from the Void Spirit as well to potentially turn this whole fight around. Jumping in, quite aggressive, got the connection on towards the Tusk, that's going to be their primary target. There is the Song of the Siren there. Natsumi making the space, allowing him to disengage. Actually, never mind, the Monkey King also getting involved. Wukong. There is Wukong with the two man boundless at the very least. Wants to get the three man, just hold it for as long as he can. They take down Akashi, they're gonna take down Shin getting involved. Very nicely played there from Boom. Natsumi just continuing farming away very happily. This pick by them has been working really well. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Natsumi's on top of him with the help there of Yopaj going for the punch. Oh, nice technical nice there, makes the space. Now they're going to turn up with the Doom. Natsumi is going to get punched this quite hard, but still the make of the space. The Sunray with the slight heals going to allow him to turn around, take out Akashi. They're going to be able to take out Bok. And yeah, Natsumi gets denied as well. Jing also in some danger trying to juke out underneath the tower. Matt getting involved. There is going to be the egg drop, but it's still level one. It drops so damn quickly. He will die. Going to get the quick trade onto Jing as well as CML. And Yupage, he's after the Rampage, he wants it, he's gonna chase after Maki. With this Arcane Rune, he's just been able to spam these skills non-stop, and there it is! Rampage picked up at just 13 minutes into the game. Uh, Bok, he runs it to, oh, they go to Yupage, that is the kill you want. Yeah, they did get the Doom, but still he's able to disengage, but never mind, Ruby's committed with the Stolen Snowball, he's flying in, dragging it back. Bok is like, dude, chill out! I don't want to get involved and boom on the hunt. Can they at least get the return kill on towards the Rubik? They will find him. You do not not want to give these kills away. Uh, oh, Mac. He's going to be alright. Yeah, easy to simulate dodge. The Brambles connects onto Yopage. Terrorite's also going to be there. a lot of lockdown, but the Sunray's coming in as well as the Song of the Siren. And it doesn't look like Boom want to try and turn around this. Just doing this to fully disengage. Don't lose anybody. Here we FPC's Ooh. here. What just without the Wukong into the back lines, but still the pressure for more. Yopaj just annihilates CML, punches into the face, lockdown as well on the Void Spirit. Mac into real danger, able to disengage oh, with the sleep. stolen Song of the Siren. It allows Mac to just TP out in front of everyone. Akashi though drops the Yopaj, and it looks like the Rubik's into real danger as well there with the uh, FPC on top of him. Box off to the side, but there's not too much the Doom can do to help out here. As eventually Jing will be brought down. So. It, yeah, pretty decent fight there for Boom. I love how Mac was able to make it out by TPing just at the edge of the uh, the, of the uh, egg. Oh, FBZ, he might be in trouble. Yeah, he actually get punished quite hard. Maybe a little bit of ammunition, but doesn't matter. In comes the rest of Boom. Yupage blows up the CML, but still they do lose FBZ. So uh, Polaris, I guess they're happy with that little trade. I don't think I've seen this before. I remember when we saw something like the... Uh, it's called the uh, armlet on it, and you go for BK Basher, but crazy Bok, bomb lane. Yeah, he just disappears in second, man. The damage output from Yopaj is just way too much at this point. And not only that, but uh, if he dies right now, he gives him a streak, right? It is, ten it is a beyond godlike streak, so that extra goal could be enough to give Polaris what they need to come back. And Mac actually gets one punch too. From Esports with a 7,000 gold lead right now. And oh, maybe get get even more right now. Quick jump here, Mac. He just does not last long at all. Burned away in a second. Again, trying to do some burst damage to force them off the tower. But regardless, Natsumi, he's a really, really tanky man with this heart. 
Mana and everything else. Now they're going to try and commit. Going on top of him. He's still alive for now. Okay, he's also getting Kamir. This Wukong's command is just perfectly placed. Can be doing so much work, but it doesn't matter. The Naga Siren is dead. Ed will Ooh. pop. Connects onto the two main calls. Akashi taking a beat in, but still is able to leap away. It's a very nice fight coming up there from Polaris. They actually take down that priority kill. That's Sumi. Maybe, you know, I'm overestimating his tankiness. However, it's still, uh, they're going for more here. Yeah, I tried to. Zephyr dead in a second. Mac though pushing for more. It's obviously he played on towards the Actually gets dodged there from the snowball, but still FBC to stand his ground, beaten into it. Now we'll be forced to disengage, but getting the first whack. He can't jump away onto the trees, and FBC's like, oh wait, I probably should have run away. And that's Sumi beating into this bottom tier three yet again. It will end up dropping down the TP. It's now coming in from Polaris. Can they actually keep this set of barracks alive? It definitely looks like they're going to try jumping in. They got the initial stun on towards that Sumi. The Boundless though connects on towards back, but the Void Spirit just gets to lead right now. Bok also completing his doom on towards the Opash, but there is going to be the Wukongs as well as the Song of the Siren. But nice terrorize, force of a drive to disengage. Is this FBC left in his. Uh, in the base on his own against the cash right now jumps in from Mac trying to control him up with just so oh. many heals the monkey king's not dropping it's a die back there from Mac down for 80 seconds still not lost anyway oh my lord just destroyed CML he's been doing this entire game I feel like every time I look at CML he's getting punched by Yopage and losing his life not to be still has the ages I think he's got for about yeah, almost three minutes yeah, that's a huge amount of time but still it looks like Polaris gonna attempt to do what they can right now my back already expanded from CML, but it's boom, they're just not scared, not being pushed away from these set of barracks whatsoever. Second set is gone. Don't respect anything here. We just we just want to take the racks. It's not to me. Still, like I said, two miss on the Aegis. And oh. Yopage CML again. This is a nihilate start win. It looks like it's a quick response to Yopage. This is extremely quick. That's a huge kill streak, but it doesn't really matter at this point. They got the control on towards back. The Void is trying his best to survive. Just can't do it. Two people dead again for Polaris. Ain't, uh, Mega, sorry, now secured. Uh, do Boom go back or do they just try and end right now? Looks like oh. I, I think they're just gonna try and end, right? Two people are dead. Why don't you just go and end the game right now? Cash is dead as well. He has buyback. Use it instantly, but though, what, what's he really gonna do with it? Bok has the Doom, but now you're up against, you're still up against four people. Oh. Yeah, oh, has to pop his BKB, try to disengage, focus onto that Tsumi, and just a dead in seconds there from Akashi. Yeah, Polaris, they tap out. GG is called. So, game number one of this best of three goes towards Boom. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty substantial, actually. Yeah, it is really good. And you know, I would say, normally you do see Atani just winning that harass war in the early parts, mm. but you, Polaris, just played it perfectly right now. Really knows what he can do. It is shown about why he is this uh, very highly prioritized mid laner. Meanwhile, up top, Jing in some danger. The snowball is there from Bok to make the space, but it's just about oh, a no. time. Uh, he thought he could like juke him out, but and we got this uh, invis rune here in the hands of Mac. Gonna move into the jungle. Yopage is gonna get a call from here. No detection oh. to see this coming, and well down done. he goes. Yopaj. Sometimes we see them go face boots after with the echo saber. But he went for the power twist. Oh, another attempt. Oh, another arrow! Yes, perfectly set up. Yopaj in some real danger right now. Still alive for now and will be able to get the fire remnant away. Does take a lot of beating for it though. But Boom Esports, just like we said, we, I saw the Tundra do this yesterday. They just keep out farming the enemy team and then they just take the fight. Mac? Yeah, in some yeah, danger now. Go I think the Shackles was actually a little bit off the mark there for Yopaj. Couldn't get the lockdown, but regardless, FPC still coming on in right now. Tiny in some danger. Right click's coming in, the silence is also on top of him, but still the rest of Boom not quite able to get on top of him that quickly. He's a tanky, tanky man this tiny. And now the potential turnaround. Illuminate comes through, Max still alive, just barely, but Whoa. finally will get brought down. And now CML and Shing have got to be careful. These right clicks will end up stacking pretty quickly right now. Arrow through the middle, not landing onto anyone, but still another shit searing chains on towards Bok. He's underneath the tier 1 tower, Snowball going on towards the Ember Spirit, wants to run away as fast as he possibly can. The FBC is night time is over, the heal's coming in from Arrow. CML, Arrow does connect! One final slide fist brings him down, but Akashi now getting involved. But it looks like, boom, they will back on out. Yeah, unfortunately, by the way, the Tiny has already revealed that he's not building Zagger. Oh, fight begins actually, Arrow lands, Bok. Oh, it's a danger, Mac jumping in, trying to go for the quick burst onto Zephyr, still Arrow. alive for now, but still... 
They will bring down the Keeper Light eventually, but it looks like Boom, they want to try and carry on pushing, pushing in for more. Right now, Natsumi is getting involved. Net lands on towards Mac. Good chains onto two as well. Do they have the follow up damage though? That is the question. Avalanche just trying to hold back the Narcosaurus for as long as possible. FBC now also getting involved with his Blink Revealed on top of the Tiny. Can they bring him down? Heal from CML will give the space for Tiny to disengage, but regardless, it is so far a two for one trade here for Boom. Constant spam of these Slight of Fierce, as you were saying earlier on, the Chakra Magic, just allowing new Paj to spam this out relentlessly. Makes it very, very difficult for Mac to get much done. Actually, they're just going to try and go for him right now, the two of them. Arrow comes through, lands onto Illusion. Mac, he's trying to get himself away, he just can't do it. And that's always, like, Mac had multiple people behind him trying to help out, but yep. still, yo, Paj, with the help, obviously, of uh, Zephyr, was able to bring him down. Oh, FBZ is here. 18 minute rune, spawns towards the boss, but couldn't even get that one. Now he's into real danger, signs the top arrow. Ooh. Ooh, nearly got the connection, but not quite enough. Buck's still alive for now, but it's the constant pursuit from Boom. Oh, nice snowball up to the high ground there, makes a bit of space, but doesn't matter, the charge is still coming through. Oh, Boom, it's not oh. letting anyone escape. Two people down just like that. And do you think they could also go Rish? Yeah, and who cares about armor, uh, right? Because he's not taking a lot of physical damage anyway right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pugna as well as Tiny and Mira are just doing a lot of magic damage. Oh, here we they're, go. They're trying to go to Yopash right now, and they actually successfully bring him down. That's a really nice target to get. But still, they're going to carry on pushing up for more. Doesn't look like Boom want to completely disengage from this area. Falling back to the high ground. Now they are actually starting to split, and Max going to find the opening to jump on towards the Rubik. But remember, he's very tanky now, so he's going to last a bit longer. Illuminate also coming mm -hmm. through. But eventually he will still fall. Akashi! In some danger, TP gets cancelled, FBC on his case. And I think he knows just a matter of time before he dies right now. So many members of Boom Esports coming on up to catch off this Morphlin. And yeah, you, you can just tell Polaris, they know he's dead. No, no one's coming up to try and help. I guess with the Morphlin down, do you think Boom can now go into the Roche pit or...? You also see now Polaris going for this a little smoke attempt right now, despite the fact that they're missing their Morphling. They're going to see if they can find an opening. There is going to be the grab on towards the coal. Quick, easy kill. Can help try and balance out these numbers a bit. Let's see if they're going to try and push for more, but boom, just full disengage. So they're just gathering right now. Going to move into a triangle, oh. which is where Natsumi is chilling right now. Oh. FBC can pop his orbit straight away on top of uh, the support puckler. Gets removed from the equation straight away. Even Mac now getting caught. Trying to wrap on top of the tiny as best they can. He's still alive for now and eventually will get brought down. The BKB from Yokobaj allowed to charge through. But the decrepify there from CML. The buyback really coming in clutch to keep his mid laner alive. But just doesn't end up keeping him alive for long. He still falls. Now the morphing in some real danger. Just the silences, the control, the stuns, the snowball is going to delay this for now. Can he get himself out? Nice use of the Mount of Souls. Force uh, the surge up to the high ground. But still, just the follow up is there from Boom. Chasing them all the way into the base. Oh, God. Even going to find Bok off to the side here. Another snowball to try and delay this out. But delay is the word to use because he will still die. Four people down for Polaris. Five technically because it's a dieback from the Pugna. 15,000 gold behind, 25 minutes in. Going to be able to clear up this first Roche. And uh, Yupal, she's just finding more kills. Another grab onto Jing. Sort of doing like we were doing in game number one. Obviously, at this point, I think he was like 13 for zero. No, he's the he's the Yopage of game two. Bok, uh, he's the oh. anti Yopage maybe. <laughs> Look at the edge of this walk straight past FBZ there and blinked off, but doesn't matter. We'll just still get ran down. So no task, 45 seconds. Um, could see the first high ground siege coming out now here from Boom. Casual arrow does land. Meanwhile, up top, actually, Natsumi has just found a grab onto Mac and the oh. Tiny just gets absolutely annihilated. Yeah, he is the definition of a beefcake, that is for sure. It's very difficult. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure a beefcake is a very handsome fellow. I mean, uh, I don't know. If, yeah. Beef, beef that, cake, beefcakes are just like, they're massive, you know, they're. Really muscular uh, hench and yeah, tank everything. Meanwhile, there we go. Another fight coming on through. Max stepping up first. Looks like he's going to get bullied down. Just takes so much damage. Just raining on through. He just can't do anything this game. Even a potential grab as well to CML dragging him back to Prepify, making space. But instead of Kashi, actually, takes a fair whack of damage himself. Oh. Arrow nearly gets the connection to Zephyr before staffs dodge it. But still, Bok chases after with the Blink Dagger, takes him down. But Kashi follows him to the grave momentarily. No buyback for the Morph, but still, boom. 
feeling like they could just keep going and why the hell not? They certainly can. FBC is going to dive the fountain. Yes, he really? will. He does die, but it doesn't even matter. GG is...